Welcome back. Let me let me let me focus this thing real quick. Keeps wanting to go out of focus. Welcome back to the Dead Kings Podcast. I'm your host, TS Cosplay, joined by Bye. your boy Moose here, guys. Moose. Today we're just talking about and ranking. Ranking or rating? Rating. Rating. Rating, rating would be the proper word. All the live action Star Wars duels. Um there's rules to these duels. That they're all gonna be from the live action movies. They're not gonna they have to be lightsaber on lightsaber and lightsaber versus like person versus lightsaber. So we're not going to have anything from the Mandalorian. We're not having anything from Clone Wars. What else are we not having anything from? Uh, Rebels. Re- from Rebels, <laughs> from Resistance, any of that stuff. It's just from episodes one through nine, our picks. You know, give us your what you would rate these things. We're going to do them out of five stars. So we're just going to get right into it. Well, before we get into it, make sure you hit subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TSCosplay. Follow Brady at Mooser666, or no, excuse me, Brady Moose Valdez. That's your gamer tag. Uh, yeah, well, there's my gamer tag if any of you want to link up. I hardly ever link up with anybody, but yes. Mooser666. But um, you guys can follow me on Instagram at uh, Brady Moose Valdez. Pretty All right. Simple. Now, we're going to start, just going to start. Um, what's the first one on our list? Uh, first one on our list, we've got Qui-Gon versus Maul. And this one's on Tatooine. Um... It's middle of the road. Like uh, I remember watching it as a kid. I thought it was really, really cool. Um, I'm trying to look through the eyes of my younger self and my older self. Um, I didn't hate it. Definitely wasn't one of my favorite. So I'm just going to give it a uh, three and a half stars. High four, uh, high high three, low four. That's 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 reasonable. Um, I would say the same. Um, it, it wasn't anything like crazy spectacular. It was cool to see. We kind of see Maul for the first time, and I'd say that's the first time we see sabers right or i guess not the first time because chronologically yeah te- technically that's the first time we see a lightsaber duel right except when they're on the viceroy ship right or does that yeah. happen later right so that's the first time we get to see them fight saber to saber we see a, a, a sith if you will for the first time yeah so that's that was really cool for me so i w- i would say uh, i would give that one a solid three just a solid three it's not too long it's or anything like that it's a pretty quick one so you don't get to see a whole lot so i definitely say three so solid three for qui-gon versus darth maul on tatooine next one uh we've got obi-wan versus qui-gon versus maul so obi-wan and qui-gon versus maul yep um as a whole I'm giving that one a five star. Five star. I don't care. I don't care. No, that's fair. That's fair. I don't care. Here's my reasons. We're going to try to keep this loosey goosey kind of, kind of, you know, but my reason is just because as a kid, that one, like obviously, whoops, sorry. Darth Maul's staff mm-hmm. is his double blade lightsaber. Freaking amazing. Um, uh, do we have Obi-Wan versus Maul next? Uh, Obi-Wan versus yeah, Maul. We're going to clump that one into this one okay so i'll um, just all make it all yeah. one okay yeah make it all one so i'm giving this one a five star just because there wasn't a ton of wire work done darth uh, uh ray park did all the stunt work mm-hmm. um and just that uh the obi-wan versus maul that you you finally see obi-wan enraged you see you it's i don't know it's, just, it's you can't really explain it it's just beautiful to me i love it I could watch it a million times. I have watched it a million times. Absolutely love valid, it. Valid truth. He has watched it a million times. I have. Um, so, yeah. That's um, mine. Five star. For me, I, I have to give that one a five star as well. And I'm not trying to just mimic Taylor. Please don't think I'm just trying to mimic Taylor. It, it, it's a good It's a good battle. There's mm-hmm. the choreography. We've talked a lot about when we've watched these because we've watched them a bunch that um, you can actually see them fighting. You can see what's going on. It's yeah, not yeah, just yeah. a bunch of glowing lights in your face, and you, yeah, yeah. you you just have to fathom or picture or imagine what's going on. You actually see it. So I'm going to give it a five star as well. Yeah, exactly. Just you, you know, like being able to make out what's going on. What you know, what essentially seeing that that's the choreography right there. You can right. see what's going on. Um, so five star for that one. What's the next one? And then that is the end for episode one. Episode two, we have Obi Wan versus Dooku. Obi Wan versus Duke. Okay, so this is on Geonosa. Geonosis. I call it Geonosia because in Clone Wars, the Queen of the Geonosians calls it Genosha. Oh, she. It's okay. Okay, fair enough. Fair Ask enough. Dave I Filoni. I, I don't know. know. That. Yeah, well, I didn't know that, but okay. Anyway, because I have a hard time. I, sometimes I say Genos- Geonosis, and I want to lump them together. But anyway, fair anyway. Enough. Uh, um, we were going to put Anakin versus Anakin and Obi-Wan versus Dooku number one, but Anakin kind of just runs at Dooku, gets electrocuted and thrown. So it's not really a fight with those two against Dooku. So basically I'm going to give that one. 
I'm going to give it a, a, a middle of the road four. I'm giving the Obi-Wan versus Dooku four because Dooku's talking crap to Obi-Wan the entire time, tugging on the heartstrings, talking about Qui-Gon. Um, well, no, he doesn't talk about Qui-Gon during the fight. But, but uh, previously. Or- but yeah, he, he's basically just talking crap. Obi-Wan's trying really, really hard. But obviously you can just see Dooku being, being one of the greatest duelists of that era just kind of messing with him and having a great time. Yep. Yep. Um, for me, this one is going to be on the lower end of the spectrum, like closer to a two and a half two. just really? because for me, it's just kind of boring. Um, and I didn't like, I agree with you that there was definitely some screwing around and Dooku definitely shows his skills and talents. But for me, Dooku was just kind of both Dooku and Obi-Wan in this fight were just kind of boring for me. So a two for me. A two? Oh, mm-hmm. two. Yeah, sorry. I know I'm harsh. Um, Next one. Uh, We have Anakin versus Dooku. Um, I want to start this one off. Oh, okay. Okay. So one thing that I noticed when we were watching this, I don't understand why when he's fighting him, he cuts the wire on the floor. You just, yeah, it I, turned I out the lights. Don't understand that at all. It yeah. makes no sense and was completely irrelevant. Once again, I'm going to have to give this one a two. Just really boring to me. Mm. Um, It's quick. And Dooku just flings him away like he's a little fly on his bread, and that's it. Not to mention he cuts his his, his arm off. Yep, cuts his arm then off. Then pushes him away. Yeah, he's like, uh, you know what? I'm just going to take this for I'm, you, I'm disrespecting bored. me, and then I'm push. bored. <laughs> I'm bored. Go away. Um, so for me, I got to give it a, I got to give it like a three and a half, just a little, a little higher because it is kind of when you first Anakin's rocking the the double lightsabers. That's mm-hmm. really, I think they call it a Kimbo, um, but I think it's really really cool. He's using that, but he only gets like one or two hits, and then Dooku cuts one of them away. Would have been cool to see that a little bit more. But yeah, the fighting in the dark, um, just the the swinging lightsabers in their face. Oh yeah, that too. Face, you just you know, see the lights go. What are we at a rave now? Like yeah, um, you know, it's just kind of boring. But but I gotta give it a little bit higher scoring. That's why I said three and a half because they have that traditional kendo style where they're facing off with the lightsabers above their head. Mm -hmm. That's what star Wars was, was or the lightsaber dueling and fighting style was based around. So I got to give props to that. Um, So yeah, three and a half for me on that one. All right. And then we have Yoda versus Dooku. You want to start this one off? Yeah, I can start this one off. Once again, this one's, um, I'm going to get flack was kind of just, this one was disappointing to me. And, and, and here's why, because you have Dooku, who was Yoda's apprentice. Mm -hmm. And I just didn't feel like they really showed the talent and fighting. You would think that someone who was trained by Master Yoda, Grand Master Yoda, Mm -hmm. to have all these skills and abilities and crazy. And while Yoda does a bunch of flipping around, Dooku's mostly stationary for the most part. There's not much he can do. Right. And that's the thing is it just, once again, I would say, and I hate to say this, all of the Dooku fighting in episode three was just really boring for me. You mean two? Or excuse me, episode two was really boring for me. So I'm going to have to give this one. I'll give a little bit more because it was kind of cool to watch Yoda flip around for me. I would call it a three. I'm going to be there and I'm going to say two and a half stars for me just because even as a kid, even as a kid, this isn't this is an old Taylor. The exchange between Mace Windu and Yoda or Dooku on GNO on uh, in the battle arena. Mm hmm. Where, you know, they're like, you know, they're talking back and forth as a, even as a kid in the theater, I wanted it to be Mace Windu fighting Dooku. I think that would have been really, really cool. I would have liked that. Um, I just, I, the Yoda flipping around, it's just kind of like, if you think about, you know, like obviously Yoda, you know, his old Padawan, it's old Padawan versus master, you know, it's stuff like right. that. It's kind of, it's that poeticness. Um, you kind of, you felt the emotions there, but once they panned out and when you could see what was going on, you still couldn't make it just Yoda flipping around. Right. Exactly. It's just like, like there was no real, there was no real threat level there up until Dooku threatened to crush Anakin and Obi-Wan. Right. Um, there was no real threat level there. So it just kind of, for me, it just was kind of, eh, it's not mm-hmm. a fight I really think about that much or I really care about. So two and a half for me. Okay, perfect. Well, that's going to do it, guys, for the episode two. Um, now we're going to go on to episode three, and our first one is Obi-Wan versus Anakin versus Dooku. Obi-Wan and or, Anakin. Obi-Wan and Anakin versus Dooku. Excuse me. Getting my verses and ands mixed up. Um, I didn't really... Th- I think I'll give this one like a high three and a half, four, mm-hmm. because I really liked... Um, and this is... I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. I'm going to get a lot of flack. 
um the prequel or the prequels but and the the episode three fights are really fast and they look really cool but it makes it hard to read the story behind it mm-hmm. um so with this one it's actually anakin ha- the anakin having round two with dooku again dooku talking that crap good twice the pride double the full right like, i i love that that's that good stuff the fight itself was really cool really good it's kind of i don't know if they intentionally did this but when when uh, Maul and Qui Gon and Obi Wan were fighting, Maul kept trying to get rid of Obi Wan. Right. Anakin and Dooku and Obi or Anakin Obi Wan and Dooku were fighting. In the first two fights, Obi Wan wanted to get rid of Anak- uh, Obi Wan first. Mm-hmm. I know he zapped Anakin, but that's only because Anakin came at him first. Right. But every time An- Obi Wan's gotten in a fight in the movies, he's trying to just go they're away. They're trying to push him away yeah. and fight the other person. Um. Yeah. But it was really good. I liked that. I like the fight. Um, I think Anakin versus Dooku, that second part, um, where Obi Wan gets flung away, mm-hmm. and it's just Anakin and Dooku before he cuts off his head. I think that was really, really cool. It there that where there was that shot where they're kind of panning and Anakin and Dooku are fighting. Mm-hmm. That looks really co- cool. You can make out what's going on. You can see what's going on, and Anakin really just wants to. You see the conflict when he's about to kill him. So that also goes into. Oh, huge storytelling. Yeah. Absolutely. So yeah, I give that, I give that like a, a high three, I'll say high three star. Yeah. For me, I'm going to give this one just a little bit above. Uh, I'm going to give it a four because I really did like this one. Like not only the, the kicking and the fighting in general, not just with sabers, you know, there's mm. a little bit of melee, if you will, in their hand to hand or boot to boot to boot to chest. Boot I don't to know. Chest. You know, Take it. Um, I did like to see a little bit of like more than just one style of fighting thrown in there. And it was cool. Yeah. Like good choreography, uh, good fighting realism. You started to see some fatigue from getting thrown around mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So I'm going to give it a four. Okay. Four. Uh, next one. Uh, all right. We have Obi-Wan versus Grievous. <laughs> I could start this one off if you want. I can. I'm giving it a freaking, I'll, I'll be nice and give it a two. A two. <laughs> I'm giving it a two. Dang. A two just he because I'll be nice and give it a two. Just because you can't tell what's going on. Like if you go back and watch it, you can't really see what's going on. There's a lot of things that went into the fight. If we're thinking about practicality of it, Grievous just should have had the, I know Grievous gets cocky. I know Grievous like takes pride in killing Jedi, but he drops it. One Jedi drops into two arms out of four. No, 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 no. The whole droid army around him. Oh, around Obi-Wan. He should have just said, open the freak fire and just, killed Obi-Wan instead of him. fighting him. But even if you want to take that part away too, the fighting was it was just way too up close. You couldn't really see. Yeah, when Grievous is walking at him with the uh, the spinning sabers, the spinning just, sabers. Mm. That that's cool. That's cool. Like if you're watching it in a dark room and you kind of look around, you can just see the lights flashing in the room. That's really really cool. Yeah. Other than that, like the fight is just kind of eh, to me. It's just really you can't see what's happening, so you can't form a concrete opinion. Thus, why I give it a two. Um, you a know, two. Give the, it a two. the only reason I'm going to give it a three is because Grievous is one of my favorite characters. Um, but other than that, I, I'm going to have to agree with you. There's just not a lot you can actually see uh, mm. of what's going on. And honestly, if we want to talk about realism, you're talking about a robot a or robot. Half, a, a half robot who has four lightsabers, mm-hmm. four arms, and you're one dude. I'm not saying it's impossible, but that's going to be a really difficult fight and it didn't necessarily seem like obi-wan at any point was losing because Mm -hmm. it seemed like every couple hits he took an arm that's true another arm and then dropped him down to two now granted obi-wan has experience fighting two sabers so practical i could believe that he could take on two lightsabers but to get rid of four so easy especially when two of the four were constantly spinning like this yeah like i'm trying to figure out where you had time to get your lightsaber in there and cut off the hands now i know it shows it so i understand but to me, I can't move past some of the unrealism just alone in that fight for what Star Wars is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to have to give it a three. Yeah. Three star. All right. Um, all right. And then next we have Windu versus Palpatine. You go first on this one. Okay. So Windu versus Palpatine. I, I did like this one. Um, it was a decent fight, but it's nothing like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna, I, I'm blown away about what's going on in this fight. So for this one, I'm going to have to go with a four. Um, I really did enjoy this one. It was fun to watch. It was actually cool to see Mace Windu get in there, especially because Mace Windu was one of the dudes I thought, especially seeing him in uh, when he's with his clones charging. 
And he's like, you just see him go like this in the movie. And I was like, oh, that's mm-hmm. super sick, you know? And so it's it's cool to see Mace Windu fight. And I won't say it's a bad fight by any means. I think the realism was there. Two older guys battling it out with sabers. And mm. it was it was a good one. So I would say four. Um, I'm saying four, four and a half. Um, just because I guess there was a lot of stuff cut out of it. Mm-hmm. Um, it would have been cool to see what they cut out of it, but other than that, like it just, it was a really cool fight. I really liked it. I really liked seeing Mace Windu finally have a duel. Um, and, uh, it really, it's really cool that Ian McDermott Palpatine actually did a lot of the fighting. Oh, I didn't know that. Really cool. Yeah. yeah, He did a lot of the fighting in there. So that adds into that too, which if you actually have that practical stuff going on there, you actually have him in there fighting. It adds some it adds to that for me. And then just the whole after that Anakin coming in and doing doing his thing and stuff like that. Like that story right there, that was just so so good. Oh, for that, sure. That storytelling just there was just so good. So that's screw it. I'm t- I'm saying nah, five four four and a half. Four point nine 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 nine. All right, all right. We're gonna have one of those. That's fair. All right, so um, up next, we have Yoda versus Palpatine. And I'll, I want to start this one. Um, this one's my favorite, like all time five. Um, I love to see, we have basically the two Grand Masters, if you will. We have mm-hmm. the Grand Master of the Sith versus Grand Master of the Jedi. The Senate. Yeah, and it's super cool to watch them get on that, that Senate chair that goes up. Mm-hmm. And they're fighting. Like, they can't go anywhere. They're stuck there. They have to fight each other. That's kind of like the most like life or death situation. You, you mm-hmm. can't run back. You have no room to really go anywhere until later. Yes. When they jump to the other chairs and start force mm-hmm. throwing things at each other. But for the, for the lightsaber aspect part of it, you just see him going ham. And personally, yeah. even though it was a lot of CGI, I thought it looked pretty solid of a fight. It was quick. They had some good shots from afar where mm-hmm. you got to see what was going on. And so for me, that one, it was just really cool to watch. So I'm going to go with five. Giving that one a five. I got to agree with you there. Like I'm giving it a four simply for the fact of that. Again, when the Senate chair is coming up and you see the whole Senate uh, chambers, Mm -hmm. that shot's amazing. Um, And I like this one a little bit more too than the Dooku one because you can, like, they, I feel like they grounded Yoda a little bit more. Yeah. He's not, he's flipping, but you can also follow, okay, this is, this lightsaber's doing this, this lightsaber's doing this. Exactly. Like you can follow it a little bit more. And so I'm going to give that one a four. Okay. Yep. Absolutely. Um, and then this is, is our last one? one for three. The big one. Vader versus Obi Wan. And a lot of people are like Vader versus Obi Wan. Anakin at this point in the movie is known by every by everybody as Vader. Yep. Padme and Obi Wan are the only ones still calling him Anakin. So that's why we're naming it Vader versus Anakin or Vader versus Obi Wan one. Yep. This one I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this. I'm gonna get a lot of flack. I'm going to say 3.5, three and a half up to four, if not a four, because as a kid, it was really, really cool. It was amazing. Two factors went into this, though, for me giving it four. I'm going to keep this quick, short, and sweet. It wasn't as grounded as I was hoping as a kid, again, and we'll get to it in later, to this point later. But again, it's really, really fast, which is really, really cool, but you can't really tell what's going on. And if you watch it enough times, you can see a lot of the frames, like they just replayed parts of the fight oh especially at the beginning that they just redid it um and just got up close and two i wish that it was more like you see after obi-wan after qui-gon get killed right in front of obi-wan anakin's mad yes but he should i just feel like he should be wailing on obi-wan his fighting he's no longer anakin skywalker his fighting style needs to be more aggressive there should be more heavier swings he's, he's and, using more anger and yeah stuff. the parts where he's punching obi-wan and kicking obi-wan and choking obi-wan and stuff like that that stuff's vader that's mm-hmm. vader anakin wasn't doing that in fights before mm-hmm. well yeah, he kicked dooku once but still the fight is really good the score is amazing the story t- it, towards the end where they're george of the jungling it is kind of i'm like i'm <laughs> yeah. kind of uh, like Again, hate me if you will. This fight to me is not the greatest fight in all of Star Wars. It's highly anticipated. It was really cool, and also this goes towards all, uh, you know, of Revenge of the Sith. But I think Anakin should have been using, uh, or Vader should have been using a red lightsaber. I know the lore is different now. I know the lore is different. But at that time, growing up, I wanted him to be using a red lightsaber just because, because the simple fact of I was sold a toy. It was Anakin's lightsaber, and you could click between red and blue. 
Oh, and it came out before the cool. movie. It came out before the movie. Oh, so that's I cool. thought he was going to have a red lightsaber. Yeah, it definitely. I could see that. I could see so that. So that's the only reason why I think you should have a red lightsaber. But. Okay. So for me on this one, I'm going to have to go with a four as well. It was really enjoyable to watch. I remember seeing this in theaters and I was like, oh my gosh, this is it. Anakin versus Obi-Wan. This is going to be insane. Like mm. I was hyped for this. And I have to say that I agree. But then we run into that fact that there's a lot, a couple scenes where you can't really tell what's going on. They're mm. just swinging. And you're like, what, what the heck's going on? But then, it, you know, I, it kind of redeems itself um, after the George of the Jungle part and a little bit before mm. when we get our cliche line, it's over Anakin, I have the high ground, um, mm. stuff like that. So I'm going to go with a four on that one. And you and this one is where I think we see the most fatigue start to play into effect, where we see Anakin and Obi-Wan when they're on that small platform. Flo- it starts floating. slowing down. You see, you see Anakin come in with his bigger and heavier hits because he's getting tired. Like they're just slower and they're, you know what I mean? That's what I like. And yeah. that that's, yeah, to, to add, just to add. So you said four? Yeah, four. Four stars. So just to add on to that, the most emotion that pulls from that part is the is the end of it. Mm-hmm. And maybe they did that on purpose where Anakin's burning and Obi-Wan's crying and saying, you're my brother and stuff like that. But still, I just think that he, Anakin should have been more aggressive taking, you know, you know, it's. And that's when we see his eyes it's go kinda, full Sith too. Yeah. Well, not, it's not the first time. Oh, really? Time. You see it when he uh, is about to kill the Trade Federation people. Anyway. Oh. Anyway. Right. Next one. Okay, next one. We have episode four now we're getting into, and we've got Vader versus Obi-Wan 2. Okay. So, it's hard, because there's nostalgia that plays into it, but then there's also the fact that probably one of the worst ones of all time, but for the fact of the matter, if we're going on continuity, they're both old. Anakin's a cyborg. Obi-Wan's a gritty, grizzled old man. Right. <sighs> Give and gave this a 4.5 because you have to. It's the first lightsaber fight that we ever see. It's not perfect. It doesn't blow your socks off, but even just the sound design, the way the lightsabers looked at the time, the dialogue. It's I would say just, that's another factor too. You have to factor in the technology at the time. Yeah, so I'm giving it a 4.5. This one for me, oh man, this one's hard because ironically enough, when I grew up watching these, I did not see four, five, and six before I saw one, two, three. Oh, I didn't know Interesting that. fun fact. I saw one, two, three, four, five, six. That's when I really huh. got pushed into, you should watch Star Wars. I didn't know that. Um, and I finally watched it. So for me, um, man, this one, I, I get what you're saying with nostalgia, but for me, I'm going to have to give this one a, at least a three and a half. It was good, and I'm sorry. I'm going to catch a lot of flack for that one. I know and that's fine. I accept that. But for me, it just was a lot of just little movements, just little like needle sabers. It felt like it was more like Harry Potter and then Avada Kedavra, oh, like just little little wand flicks, you know. And so that's where it really lost me. Like there wasn't really many big hits at all, except yeah. when Vader kills Obi Wan. I mean, just kind of like <laughs> what, where he he even, he's like <laughs> <laughs> like a baseball. Old. Like a baseball bat or really I, I saw a meme. I saw a meme. Swing. I saw a meme and it was like it was like, dude, what? We're old. <laughs> you know, like you know, Obi Wan and they're saying that to each other. Um yeah. so you give it a three and a uh, three, three and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half. All yeah. right. Um we're Almost reaching our time here. So okay, okay. We'll pick this up. Um, up next, that's going to do it for four. And up f- ep- episode five, we've got Vader versus Luke. I'm coming through. Um, I love this fight. I love it a lot. There's not much to say. It's a great fight. It's Vader essentially trying toying and trying to trap Luke. He's not trying to kill him, but mm-hmm. Luke is trying to kill Vader. Right. And this prove is before... Him- he knows he's his father, right? Yes, this is the fight. That's right. He... That's right. I remember. I remember. I was just making sure. I was just making sure I was on the right page. I'm just making sure I'm on the right. You're not page. a real fan. <laughs> Get out. Get out. Right. <laughs> um. Anyway, so it's and the big reveal too. As right. you bring it up, big mm-hmm. reveal. This one, it's a high four, not quite a five, not quite a five. Um, I can't think of any reasons as to why not, other than what my last five one is. So, but yeah. Fair enough. Um, this one, I think I'm going to have to give, I'm going to give this one a four and a half. Um, it was really cool to watch Luke fall into the, uh, the what's it called? The carbonite chamber. The, the carbonite chamber. Carbonite. And then jump out while Vader's not looking and then immediately come back down and grab his mm. saber. I was really impressed by that and it was really cool to watch all that. And then the very first part where, because this is our first opportunity where we see Vader fight Luke. Mm-hmm. And so for 
Luke to get a, an awakening, you're fighting your old man. And obviously he doesn't know that yet, but he immediately first couple hits is down on the ground and he mm-hmm. has to fall back and, or gets knocked back, I guess. Mm-hmm. But yeah, for me, it's a four and a half. It's a very powerful fight. And I think there were some good hits and some good uh, choreography on it. So. And as you can tell, if you really think about the other fights we get with, you know, post suit Vader, he fought Obi-Wan with both hands. Mm-hmm. I wish Forrest were here right now to talk a little bit more about it because he's the bigger Vader fanboy than I am. But, um, uh, you, you know, he fights Obi-Wan with both hands in episode six. He fights Luke with both hands with this one. At the beginning, he's only using one. Right. So he's like, nah, nah, shows his, it shows his power. Yeah. Um, um, so, yeah. All right. So then episode six, Vader versus Luke two. I, if I could, I give this a 10. Yeah, it, ten star. Because in my opinion, this is the greatest duel of all time out of Star Wars. I'd give it a ten. Obviously, I can only give it a five, but it is a five times five. Um, it it gets everything. Here, it, I'll be it, the I'll be the extra five. I okay. also give it a five. Yeah, for, it's it it's it's amazing. It the storytelling is just great. He knows he's his father. Luke is. Uh, it's essentially, essentially, from what I picked up, because everyone's interpretation is different. Luke straight up was about to kill the Emperor. Mm-hmm. He was going to kill him. And there's one, there's a part there that I think, and I've seen a lot of people say that they think Vader was trying to stop Luke from killing um, the Emperor because he didn't want Luke to fully turn. Oh. He didn't want Luke to go to the dark side. Mm. But at the same time, there's also that part too where he, Vader was just protecting the Emperor still under you know you know still his dog his influence yeah Yeah. and so then luke kind of switches gears and it's like okay well now i have to defend myself against my father i'm not trying to kill him but he does kick him down the stairs he's an old man you can't do that can't kick your father (laughs) you can't rude sir kick your father but then it just just the part where you know just the it's not even when they're fighting that has almost some of the biggest impact but where vader threatens you know, Leia Mm -hmm. and Luke is kind of, you know, he's like, you know, you see the shot of Luke and he's kind of like eyes are rolling back and he's trying to fight the emotions and stuff. But then they'll never, you know, and he, you know, he's coming in the part where he's just wailing on Vader and takes his hand off that part. Just, it's so powerful, almost as powerful as the part where Luke throws his saber away. He's like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to kill my father. You see the Jedi. He is a Jedi there. That's what a Jedi is. Kind of like if you look back to episode three, Obi-Wan's like, I'll do what I must. It's that Jedi demeanor. Right. It's that this, I don't want to have to do this or I do, you know, this is what has to happen. This is what's going on. Mm -hmm. So the storytelling in that is just beautiful. It's, 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 it's the perfect lightsaber battle to me. The choreography for like, obviously for the time. It's still that traditional Kendo style. I love it. It's still older, you know, and you know, but yes, yes, five out of five. And, and I don't have much more to add to that. It's going to be a five for me. You got passion. You see fatigue. You see passion. Passion. You know, you, you see you see everything, emotion, all the things. So for me, it's going to be a five as well. All right. Um, right. We're halfway there. All right. So next we've got episode seven and we've got Finn versus Kylo. Now, I'm not a sequel hater. I'm not. I, I, I don't. Am I. I don't. I don't hate the sequels. If you watch our last episode, we actually talk about. Obviously, check it out. It's in the description below. Anyway, these fights. We'll just as we go. Finn versus Kylo was really, really good to me because it was. It was showing that you know it, you see the deterioration of the lightsaber fighting. Mm-hmm. It started with Anakin and Obi Wan there. They were trained by other Jedi. That was the heyday of the Jedi. Right. Luke was trained by old Obi Wan and Yoda. Ray wasn't really trained by anyone. She was self-taught with her bow staff. If you don't like that, ex- ex- you know that explanation. This is not the place to talk about it. But and that, but also Kylo was was trained by Luke, who also was trained by an old man. So it's very very different. The fighting style is heavier, more aggressive. It's it, it's kind of medieval. Mm-hmm. Um, that being said, with content with 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 lore in place, I'm giving this one a three because you know Finn a janitor being able to stand up against a fully trained. And I get the part that he's shot that Kylo's injured and throughout the rest of the movies, Kylo wins almost every, every battle that he's in. Right. He essentially wins except for episode nine against Ray the second time, but, but got to give it a three, a janitor going up against the highest trained member of the first order. will say, eh. right for me, it's a two. Um, I'm, I'm being harsh on this one. I was not impressed. Once again, I'm not a sequel hater. I'm not a sequel hater. 
I just, once again, it's the whole janitor thing. A janitor going up against a dude who's actually been trained by somebody mm-hmm. to fight with a lightsaber, and he's just wailing. He's just, I mean, granted, that's what would happen, right? If if you were an untrained person, you're just going to wail. You're just going to freaking fling that thing around. And, and this is and, before, sorry to cut, cut in. Mm-hmm. This is before we knew Finn was force sensitive. Right, exactly. This is before. Mm-hmm. So for me, it's just a two. It's just a really boring fight. It's a very quick fight, and it just, I, it's, it's, it's just not for me. So I'm just gonna yeah. go with the two. Next one, um, Ray versus Kylo. <sighs> kind of same. Um, I, I, I every, if you know me, you know I love Ray. I love Ray. It's true, he does very much so. Cardboard cut out of her. Don't worry about it. Anyway, <laughs> um. But I got to give this one a two for the simple fact that like throughout I, I, Force Awakens to me, I'm not judging it as a movie. It just didn't do a good job building up to this. Mm-hmm. There were no hints or winks or nods that Ray has the force up until we see it. Mm-hmm. And so it's just kind of like, well, you know, she grabs the lightsaber and, and that big reveal was really cool. I got I got chills in the theater. Yeah. yeah. You know, it was really cool. But the fight itself, like as we see, Ray is not very good with a lightsaber. And we'll talk about that more towards, you know, if we talk about the movies. But still, it it was it's a two for me. And once again, two for me. Um, same reasons, pretty much. It just just didn't do it for me. It just didn't feel it. it just didn't wasn't like, oh, my gosh, here we go. Here we go. You know, it just feels like. It was just kind of weak for me. I don't know how to explain it. It just didn't work for me. Um, but we're going to move on. We've got episode eight. Kylo versus... Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. This was our dishonorable mention. Yeah, our dishonorable mention. mention. This is a dishonorable mention. Kylo versus Luke. And the whole reason is, is because... Because this is the worst duel in all of Star Wars. It's not even a duel. Like, yes, I, if we're counting this, then technically we should count Luke versus Vader in his dream and Rey versus Sith Rey. But right. still, this is Kylo thinking it's an actual person and they made us think it's an actual person. You can tell me that you th- knew it was a forced projection. You're a liar. Um, <laughs> something was up there. Like, everyone was like, something's weird. He has the graph flex, but they just broke it. Anyway, Worst duel ever. Star Wars, in my opinion, should never have anything be in slow motion because it just shows the effect more. Worst fight. Obviously, it's a projection. We didn't know that. No lightsabers clash. No, the worst fight ever. Negative 20 out of five stars. Yep, I'd agree. That No, no more to say on that one. All right, so we're going to move on to episode nine. Ray versus Kylo one. I'm giving this one a four and a five cl- a low five it's a five low five just because the sound design i loved how how you can see what's going on a lot of people don't like this new fighting style i do deal with it um the sound design the storytelling kylo kylo obviously it almost looked like kylo was training her with with it's with the saber mm-hmm. like i told you to look out for when he was fighting just his movements with how like she would do two hits and she was trying but he just pushed her off and like moved to the side like it was no big deal fully trained fully 100 percent health kylo ren beast this fight and just the, the, the atmosphere the his hangar or his quarters on the star destroyer right right i really really liked that i really liked that so i'll give this one High four, low five, four, four and a half. Uh, for me, I'm gonna have to give this one a three and a half. Mm. Um, not because I hated it necessarily. Once again, I promise I'm not a, a sequel hater, but I wasn't a big fan of how they were fighting each other from two different locations. Yeah, that that yeah. that just the it force, just yeah that force thing weirds me it, out. It just wasn't working for me, and so I was like, "What the heck? Like, I don't understand this." I mean, definitely <laughs> the part like you said where you see Kylo kind of just push off her hit was cool. Mm. And so that's kind of what saved a lot of it. And mm-hmm. it, it definitely was some good choreography. So I can't take that away. And you definitely see Ray getting tired, probably from using the force between the two of them. Um, but it just, for me, it was a three and a half. Like it was cool, but I didn't, it, it wasn't just wasn't working for me. Next one. Um, I've got Ray versus Kylo two. Okay. I'm going to just straight up say it. This one's a three for me. It's a three. Because it's a th- it's not a four. It's 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 just for the simple fact that there's again storytelling. The reason that they're fighting, there's no real reason. Ray's just trying to kill Kylo for breaking the wayfinder because she thought it was the last one. That's her dark side. That's her Palpatine coming out. Now, just gonna give a quick thing of Ray. Obviously, everyone's like Ray's fighting. So she's just swinging for the fences. She's not a good light. She's not a good lightsaber fighter. 
She's not a great lightsaber user. She's a great force wielder and stuff like that, but she's not a great fighter. Right. Like it's that's just how I perceive it. Um, she she is very wild. She just obviously didn't have the training that Ben had and Kylo had, but at the same time, like she she still her fighting her fighting, I I, I don't hate it, but obviously like like the storytelling is like, eh, what the heck? What is she looking to achieve? Right. She kills Kylo, what happens? Right. You know, um, and then the second part of it is the realism to it as when you see like she get her get tired where Kylo jumps or they both jump that first time from one part of the bro- down Star Destroyer to the second part. Mm-hmm. Then she jumps another time and Kylo walks. Mm-hmm. Then she gets tired because that's taking energy. Right. That's going to take energy. Um, And then her switching styles to the backhand more defensive as they explained in Rebels. Um, that's a more defensive tactic to, to fight that way. Um, and then you see Kylo beat her the crap down. It's truly Kylo versus Ray, right? Full health, Kylo, full health, Ray Kylo wins. What docks it is just the way that when she stabs him, like Leia reaches out to Kylo, but then dies and like nothing really happens. She's just like, Bend, and then dies. And he's like, what gets distracted and gets stabbed. So that's the conclusion to the fight wasn't amazing to me, but right. seeing the force healing again was really cool. But yeah, three. Sorry, I went over a little bit. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Um, I'm gonna have to say for me, this one's a four and a half. Mm. I, I was actually really enjoyed watching them fight and really seeing the mm. true fatigue of a fight like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're talking both were in very upset moods. They were mm-hmm. both they were both grumpy, mm-hmm. and they're both when you're when you're fighting out of anger you're using more energy. Yep. You're using way more energy. And so you saw them get fatigued. Now, Kylo was a little bit smarter about it because as you said, he's not force jumping every chance that he can. Yeah. He's like, whatever, it's water. I'll walk through it. Like I'm going to be wet, whatever. Yeah. So he walks right through it while Ray is jumping everywhere and exhausting herself. Not only that, but they start out with heavy hitting Mm -hmm. swings. And so they're going to exhaust themselves. And so, for me, I'm going to have to say a four and a half for all of the fight up until the conclusion is where you lose me, mm. where, yeah, you see him just kind of drop his lightsaber. She grabs it and stabs him, and that's the end of it. And it's yeah. just like, that's that's kind of disappointing. But all other than that, up until that point, it's really good for me. I enjoy watching it. Yeah. Well, that'll do it for this one. Um I'm not sure what one's going to come next. Maybe it will veer away from Star Wars. We'll go into cosplay, because... I haven't really talked about cosplay, but if you liked what you saw, check me out on Instagram at TS Cosplay. Check Brady out at Brady Moose Valdez. Links will be in the description below. Give it a like, give it a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. We'll see you guys.